Welcome to Through the Wire. Through the Wire. Today we're kicking it back to where some of us became an NBA fan in the early 2000s, man. Before, you, before I let you do that, I do uh-huh. have to say happy birthday and rest in peace to the GOAT, the Mamba. Rest in peace. Rest in Moment peace. of silence for Mamba, five seconds. We appreciate you, man. Um, so we're doing a draft today. Some of y'all are waiting for the top 10 shooting guards. We're doing those every single Saturday live on the T- Through the Wire YouTube channel. So if you're listening to this, go subscribe to Through the Wire on YouTube, man. We're we doing those. But in the meantime, we're doing a draft, man. I love when we do drafts around here because we always get some craziness. We did a early, we did a 2010 to 2020 draft, and somebody picked up Danny Granger in like the fifth round. We, I don't know if we're getting one of those today because it looked like everybody came prepared and we've all evolved since that moment where we're doing the draft. So the way it works is we're drafting players that played in the 2000s from 2000 to 2010. And you're getting the version of them. So hypothetically, yes. if you draft Michael Jordan, who did play in the early 2000s, you only get Wizards Michael Jordan. All the other accolades and performances don't matter. We already got the draft order. I'm pretty sure it's P first, D Mills second, Mike third, I got the last pick, but it's Serpentine, so I got back-to-back, and we go up and down. 12-man roster, coach, and jerseys. Yes. Are y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one. I got a big one. I spent a lot of time on this one, man. I I spent so much time. I'm trying to put together the best possible team. Kyron called me like, man, you put together your PC? Yeah. I'm like, nah, I'm getting my pool ready for this draft. (laughs) And we need y'all in the comment section to let us know who drafted the best team. All things considered. Okay. Pierre, you are on the clock and while he's thinking we can have some normal nba conversations and uh, you let us know when the pick is in pia and that's how we're gonna do things the pick is in i'm oh, just my, trying to oh, make well, sure you the first overall I pick, get my right? backstory you know on them we're not about to do what espn do make you wait those five minutes when you no. already know who you got <laughs> so my guy i'm gonna read off some things about him mm-hmm. and keep in mind this is not his career this is between 2000 and 2010 yep. he's a three-time champion mm. He went three times. He won three times. Mm. He was also a three-time finals MVP. Ah, First pick. Two MVPs under his belt. He was an all-star all the entire decade. He was all NBA the entire decade. He was almost all, well, he, no, I'll take that back. He was all defensive the entire decade. And the reason I'm taking him first is because I wanted a guy, because it's a draft, and it, because it is Serpentine, so my pick won't come back for seven picks. I wanted a guy that I can build with in different routes. Mm-hmm. This guy can play with a lot of different players. I can put him as my center, my power forward. It's Tim Duncan, uh, both sides of the basketball, Mr. Fundamental. Um, he's going to be able to be a screener, a passer, a scorer, a rebounder, a defender. He can anchor my defense. He's going to be a guy that no matter who's on the board for me the next time I'm up, I can build the proper team. A lot of guys that I, I did have in mind for this pick, I like them, but I was worried like, man, if I get him and come my pick come around and I have to take this guy, they might not work together. I don't feel that way with him. I feel like whoever's going to be up there for my second and third pick will work well with. So I'm taking uh, Tim Duncan. It was hard for me. I had another guy in mind who was extremely, extremely talented, mm-hmm. but he's not – as well rounded. Tim Duncan was Tim. the right pick. I was praying that Tim Duncan somehow fell to four. <laughs> I, I Tim Duncan ex- was my backup pick. If, if he took somebody else. Yes. Okay. Well, D Mills, you're on the clock. If you already know who your pick is. Right. He gave me my nickname growing up in high school and middle school. I was nicknamed Baby Shaq. So mm. I'm going with number two, Shaquille O'Neal. And this is the guy who I was referring to that I went back and forth with, but I preferred Tim Duncan. Okay. One of the most dominant forces we've ever seen touch the court, and I feel like I can construct the right team around him to where he can thrive beautifully. Y'all are making my draft board look crazy two picks in, bro. Okay, Mike, you're on the why, board. Why, why, why are you are looking crazy? Because I was hoping those two players were at four or five. <laughs> Who do you think we're going one and two? Mike, you're on the clock. <laughs> I'm taking Kobe Bryant with okay. my pick. That, that felt like a – I thought one of y'all two for sure was taking Kobe. I'm taking Kobe. I'm, I'm surprised he failed me, but okay. All right, so now I got to figure out four and five. I feel like building around a center is just beautiful, especially him. It's he not has that a personal center. He has yeah. four and five. Yeah. Uh, 
Can, y- can y'all talk about the Kevin Durant thing just for 30 seconds while I figure out which exact player I want to pick? Well, the Kevin Durant thing is very interesting. Uh, I hate to be the guy that I ain't screaming out I told you so, but that was just my prediction when everything was happening that it's hard to trade Kevin Durant, you know what I mean? And any team that's trying to get him is also trying to put him in position to be a part of a contending team. So usually to get a player like that, you have to gut your roster. Mm -hmm. So with in turn, if you're going to gut your roster for him, you're going to put him in the same position he's in. So he might as well sit with the Nets. This team should be a lot better than the last time we saw them with Kyrie fully healthy and fully available. Ben Simmons fully healthy, fully available. TJ Warren. Um, who else did they pick up? I feel like uh, Royce O'Neal. Royce O'Neal, yeah. Uh, they should just be able to Seth. build some continuity this year. Joe Harris. As long as they buy healthy. in, that team yeah. has the potential to yes. do a lot of great things. All right, yeah. I got my pick. Let's go. The pick is in. Strictly looking at the 10 years of 2000 to 2010, this is what we're talking about. One-time NBA champion. One-time MVP, 10-time All-Star. He was an All-Star all 10 years of this decade. Defensive teams, All-NBA first, all NBA first team four times, All-NBA second team three times, <laughs> and All-NBA third team as well. Eight all-defensive teams. He was as dominant as a lot of people in this era. Yes. Kevin Garnett, big ticket, is getting drafted fourth overall. And, of course, I got back-to-back picks. And this is what I'm thinking. That point guard position in the ten, uh, 2000s, not me, it obviously, but a lot of them don't have a crazy longevity. Yeah, but you're still getting them at their best version. You're getting them in their best version, that's for sure. So, with that being said, my next pick is a guy that won two MVPs during this time. And I think when I'm thinking point guards, he is the prototypical to get my team running. Can you imagine if KG? Didn't have Sam Cassell, but got Steve Nash to run? Mm. I'm drafted Steve Nash. KG, Steve Nash, pick four and five. We should have um, programmed to the board the pick is in sound. Oh, yeah. We oh. just keep forgetting to use the board the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, you're back on the clock, by the way. Talk, talk, I mean, talk me through the process. Oh, do you want us to talk about basketball while you think things through? No, no. I, I feel like I just have to take this guy. Uh, he's too good for a player not to take and... He's, I'm knowing LeBron, man. Mm. I know that's it. Sounds a little weird with the combination, but he's literally still up there in the second round. So I'm going LeBron James. 2000s LeBron was still immaculate. Yeah, very, the back very end, two time MVP back to back on the last two years. So yep. yeah, scoring champion. Not 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 to me the best version of LeBron, but right. still he's the very good. fucking great. Scary LeBron. Hey, in those those six seasons, he averaged 27 seven and seven. So that's not a bad pick yeah. in the second round. That's for sure, not a bad pick. LeBron was literally at the top of my board. So you got Kobe and Braun. I think Chad going to say he won automatically because he got Kobe and Braun. But you have to remember. You got to round that bitch out, though. You got to round it out. Yeah. And it's a 12-man roster. 12-man so roster. His bench, his bench got to be real decent. Yeah. He definitely has a good start. Um, but, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be definitely important to remember 2000s to 2010. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're thinking about a two-time MVP, which is what Steve Nash was Yeah, in that same amount of span. So, But a lot more scoring for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Maybe a lot more fun too. D Mills, you're on the clock. Uh, these two players, I feel like they complement each other very well. They are bigs, but they play completely different. Mm. Um, taking Dirk, I am taking Dirk. Taking Dirk. Oh yeah, my god, Dirk and Shaq legit complement each other because they're completely opposites. One's going to shoot the ball, and the other one's going to dunk on you. <sighs> so, yeah. that's that's my starting front court. Right I there. love how things just fall in place for me. Um, <laughs> So, this guy had a nice window, right? You know, I'm not even going to go that route yet. I got two back-to-back picks. You I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to take a point guard. I think it's essential to have a, a, a very good point guard uh, with Tim Duncan with the type of basketball we want to play. And I think this this point guard, it's not a lot of point guards out there that wouldn't compliment Tim Duncan, for That's sure. True. But this guy is going to be even better because he dominated from an accolade winning perspective and overall play, he dominated this decade like Tim Duncan in a sort of way. And uh, this guy is an eight-time All-Star, five-time All-NBA, four-time first-team All-NBA, eight-time All-Defensive, three-time assist leader, two finals appearances, Jason Kidd. Oh, my God. Repairing he was just right down. Jason like, that might Kidd. be my perfect point guard right yeah. there. Repairing Jason Kidd with Tim Duncan um, solidifies us defensively as point of attack and the back line of defense. Very unselfish basketball. And, again, 
When it comes to the point guard position, I don't know if there was anybody in this decade that carried a franchise the way he did because there was no way the finals. I mean, the Nets should have made two finals Mm -hmm. with the teams he had. Even though he lost against the Lakers and the Spurs, the Nets, even Steve Nash, as great as his decade was, the Suns don't don't get to the finals. You know what I mean? Um, He played in that badass Eastern Conference. That badass Eastern Conference still had the Pistons and – you know what I mean? The Pacers. There was some comp out there. It was some comp out there. <laughs> Post Jordan Eastern Conference was doo doo. Nash could have made it to the finals out east. He could have. He could have had us fall. He would have made it to the finals out east. I'm just rooting for my guy who I drafted before. Just <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I'm not disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing. My next pick. Mm-hmm. Um, right now for us, the major thing is is offense. I have a passer. Um, I have a low post score. I want a go-to guy. And for me, that go-to guy, um, who talk a little bit. I want to make sure. Okay, all right. Between um, two guys. So, y'all, y'all, what's up? I was going to say, who's on your roster so far? Okay, I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to take I'm not going to overthink and, um, it. Pick is in. Steve Nash. This guy is a seven-time All-Star, seven-time All-NBA, two-time scoring champ, most improved player in 2001. Scoring averages of 27, 26, 32, 28, 25. We're taking Tracy McGrady. Oh, yep, saw um, that, saw very that. short window because of his injuries, but mm-hmm. this is the time to get him if you're ever going to draft Tracy McGrady. It's between two. He was not going to last to your next pick. I'm telling you that. Yeah. He was he not was, last. He was, he was on my short <laughs> yeah, okay. I was considering it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to go a different route. Uh, I'm going to go with a guy who won a championship during this era. Uh, he also played with Shaq, and I'm going to go Dwayne Wade. Interesting. That's who I was battling with with Tracy Grady. Because there's so, so much defense. I'm like, should I get Dwayne Wade defense and scoring? But Tracy McGrady resume is better than he is from that point on. Right. Mikey, you're, um, up, to the, you're up to bat. Right now I got Kobe and LeBron. I need a big man to hold it down down low. I'm going to go with a dude that was a consistent 20 and 10 plus. I'm going with Dwight Howard. There we go. Dwight. Very good pick, Mike. Dwight. I like it. Very good pick, Mike. That's a guy who I thought potentially could get lost in the shuffle. Good pick, mm-hmm. Mike. Okay. So I got back-to-back picks. There's a, there's a couple different names that I'm thinking about. Because right now I got a point guard and I got a, a power forward slash center. You know, KG can run it either way. We've seen him clamp up a lot of different people in his time. I'm also trying to build a roster. There's one obvious name that's on the board, and people are screaming, how the hell is he still there? Yes. And and I feel like I'll be kind of a jackass to not draft him. <laughs> but then I also have Steve Nash in the backcourt, too. And that would be one small-ass backcourt. Very small. Now, I could make it up on the back end mm-hmm. and have this person come off the bench in the long term because he was a flamethrower and he can give you 30 and 16 shots because um, efficiency wasn't really his thing, but he got a lot of buckets. So you know what? I'm not going to be a jackass. I'm drafting Allen Iverson right here, right now. Okay. Great pick. Great pick. Great pick. pick. Great pick. Um, not, we, uh, what we going to do? What we going to do about Allen Iverson is we going to keep it a buck. This this dude, the, the side shit didn't really matter. This this dude was 11 time All Star in that span, MVP, scoring titles. So we can't. <laughs> we not going to sit up here and act like all of a sudden, oh man, he's. We're, this is, we're playing 2000s basketball. We definitely yeah. play 2000s basketball with these okay. rosters. Okay, okay. we're not okay. playing. You thought two, we was about to stretch five. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's what I'm not saying. But it's just I, I was just thinking about some players in my mind. I was like, okay, this 2000s basketball. Yeah, like, 2000s I'm, basketball. His value might have just gone up for me. Um, it's another person here, but I'm a, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to hope that he's here on the back here. So I got big ticket. I'm going with somebody that's even bigger than big ticket. Yeah. I mean, big Yao me. Oh, We're getting the best so version yeah. of him. So don't talk to me about the knees and the ankles sure, and everything. Sure. I'm taking, I'm taking Yao. That's this, this is going to be nice. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. So it's on Mike now. It's right? on Mike. Me. Uh, I'm going with a guy that's going one of the best facilitators of all time, game managers, Chris Paul. Yes, sir. I was that's I knew he was coming up the board great eventually. Pick, great pick, great pick. I had, I, man, I was like, if if Chris Paul dip, it's gonna be some set. Three time All Star, two time All NBA, two time All Defensive Rookie of the rookie Year, two time Assist Leader, two time Steal Leader. Two time. I thought. It, oh no. Okay, a Steal Leader. I think it was like four times. So, but this is the decade. Mm-hmm. You think? Oh, right. I'm career. thinking after. Okay. I'm thinking about his full career because Chris Paul stands. He's so great. <laughs> They're the worst. Uh, Derek, you're back. 
I got to delete the these clock. guys. Talk to me what board. you thinking, because it's like you you. Who you got right now? You got to remind the people what everybody working with oh, at each pick. My team is Shaq, um, Dirk Nowitzki. Then I got Dwayne Wade. Okay, nice team. Um, so I'm looking. I'm considering going now small forward. I feel like point guards. It's a decent amount of solid point guard. I agree. To where you don't have to rush and draft a PG early, especially when getting, you got Dirk and Shaq. Yeah, it's, but yeah, they they don't really need a great point guard. Draft Sam Cassell in and twelfth round, you'll be fine. No, <laughs> you trying to say his ass up? <laughs> Sam Cassell made an All Star game because of Kevin Garnett. He said, "And draft Mo Williams also made Mo an All Star game." Yeah, especially when you play with LeBron because of LeBron. <laughs> but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this, one of the best scores we've seen in our. Generation. Oh, you! I want to choke you, Carmelo Anthony. Oh my god! I feel like he's gonna pair well with this. Great team. pick, Derek. Um, and I love what he does. I got two mid range killers, Dirk and Carmelo. And Andy again, two thousands basketball. Bunch That's of, what we get. <laughs> bunch of ball stoppers over there. <laughs> you got, you got to put I, it together I, with I, that I, point guard. I was boy. thinking like, yeah, damn, like, how, could, how is Melo gonna show right. his value with Talk Dirk Shaq on the and the <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Andre Miller. He hey, he can get you fifty. He, he go, proved it. He can get you fifty, and he also can give you low key assists. I got a point guard in mind. Mm. I think I think he's gonna be. Real gonna good. I hope him. he fall. Okay. Pierre, back to back picks. Talking to your team again. So at point guard, we have Jason Kidd. Uh, we have Tracy McGrady and then Tim Duncan. Tracy McGrady and Tim Duncan are interesting because um, T Mac can be my two or three. Versatile. Duncan can be my four or my five. Um, for me though. I definitely want to fill out my lineup. Mm -hmm. So these two picks are where I'm going to start defining positions for some guys. Um, something that I just want to get off my chest and I want to do while I have the chance is I want to put somebody in the front court with Duncan. And this guy, I'm thinking about how are they going to coexist. Um, and this dude later saved the career, saved the Los Angeles Lakers. Um you see my face because that was my next pick, <laughs> mm. right? Paul Gasol. That was my yeah. fucking Paul Gasol. next pick. <laughs> two times just going right off the um, board. Two time champion. Um, I, I just think <clears throat> when I think of him and Tim Duncan in a front court together, I I, I love it. It's, That's a lot of high IQ basketball. Yes, a right lot of size, a lot of IQ, um, and just a lot of versatility. So I'm I'm, I'm taking that route. And Mark's power forwards. He was fourth on my big board, so he was there. Yes, very underrated guy. Very oh, underrated sure. guy. Very a guy right. that definitely could get lost in the shuffle if you don't do your due, due diligence. And um, this next pick, you just can't go wrong with this guy, man. You can't go wrong with this guy, even how he aged, just from a, from a score Oh to, my God! To, to a sharpshooter. Oh my God! Uh, you know, a champion. Th this is the player. This is the player I was hoping <laughs> oh is back God. here. One-time champion. He was nine so time high on my big board, bro. One-time All NBA. Ray Allen. Oh my God, God damn so it, man! So right now, our starting lineup, and just of now, because I could draft somebody. I may say I want somebody to come off the bench, but we have Jason Kidd, Ray Allen, Tracy McGrady, Tim Duncan, and Paul Gasol. So okay, you have a center. Dwight Howard, yep. You had a center. Oh, well, you just drafted one. You had positional versatility. You had a center. I didn't really need to take Yao Ming right there because he was going to be there. He was going to be there. For sure. I, yeah. I'm, I'm a jackass GM. I should have taken Ray Allen right there. Damn. All right. Well, uh, it's on you, D-Miller. I'm glad my point guard fell. Um, I, I don't know why. I mean, actually, I do know why. There's better point guards available. But I'm going to draft Darren Williams. Mm. Um, for mm. playmaker. Um, he's on really... Oh, really I love facilitate it. I, and run that offense. I love the way you draft. <laughs> I love the way you draft. That dra round I, I, seven, I love eight. the way you draft. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to pick his in. I'm glad to pick his in. Keep, no, keep going though. Keep talking to Darren Williams. Oh no, I, I love when the, I used to watch Darren Williams. I used to be like, damn, this dude is underrated. Seriously, yeah. um, like his game is just so free flowing. He was able to control the game. Uh, big shot maker. I've always enjoyed watching Darren Williams play. It was crazy seeing him go to the Cavs, and then it's just like. He won no yeah, shit. Yeah, it's just completely yeah, yeah. Just gone. Same. I was a guy that was Darren Williams over Chris Paul when they was both tap for tap. It was, Obviously, it Chris Paul. Like it was close. When you it, it was close. Oh, it, it was close. Was. It was close. Uh, it was. The, uh, Chris Paul definitely aged a million times yeah. better, but it was close. It was very close for sure, for sure. And I was on Darren Williams' side. Who up? Michael, I think it's on me. Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Chris Paul, and Dwight Howard. And Dwight Howard. That's a very that's, underrated. Team. I need that's a power a forward, team. but 
That's a lot of personalities I feel like I'm a, too, though. Mm. Oh. You got to get the right coach. You got to get the right coach. You, gotta talk, you might have a little You might want to draft your coach right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I was looking at a power four, but I think we could maybe hold off a few rounds. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go and get my six man. Um, damn, bro. Y'all took my fucking picks off the damn board, bro. He, he only came with 20 going. people. <laughs> give me 30 seconds Give me 30 seconds On the board bro Okay while well, he takes 30 seconds Did y'all watch um, The cross Crossover pro-am yeah, Quarter and a half the point it, end, it ended I didn't I even s- know Why it ended I was just I saw Floors was slippery and yeah. 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 Which I think Is the good call Cause come on man LeBron Imagine losing Your star player On come the on. run LeBron literally slippery. walked out he, But did you see What they did after he took no. pictures With everybody No him and De- DeJounte Murray Put work in Oh that yeah but LeBron, LeBron and DeJounte back, Yeah LeBron did come back out and take a, like a big crowd picture. I thought that was dope. Yeah. He had he has to. That's why I'm glad LeBron is the face of the NBA because he understands what comes with it. Um, he knew all those people was disappointed. Who's so next? Once Bron is out in 20 years, who's the next face? Giannis. In 20 years? I'm oh. exaggerating, but because uh, we never know. Oh, LeBron got an extension too. I guess we can mention Shout that a little bit later. Extent. Congrats! I know you needed the money. <laughs> it's like it's gonna be a battle between Giannis and Luca. <laughs> oh, right, Luca Doncic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be them too. Only reason I don't I'm see Luca pulling up to like pro-ams and stuff. That's why we push back because in off season Luca's usually like same with Giannis doing overseas. something back at home. Yeah, true. Same thing. With, yeah, same thing with Giannis. You know, so hmm. I'm taking a okay. He's back. He's back. I'm taking a dude. Trey Young. didn't play very much long in the 2000s, but what he did, he was a rookie of the year, and we all know him. Tyreek Evans. Score. Kevin Durant is my Kevin Durant. Man. Oh, okay. He got. He think he got yeah. three seasons under his belt by yeah, the time yeah. he was a thirty he was, point scorer. He was, he was already six, an all star, second in MVP voting. That's not bad. That's a little not early, bad. but not bad. Not a bad of a pick as you trying to make it be. That's you, you good, my boy. OKC was a playoff team, and in, in the back half of the decade, he was second in MVP under LeBron. He was averaging thirty. Then what was that? 2010? 20, 2009, 2010? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My next pick. This guy's an NBA legend. I honestly don't believe I think his ass Will probably stay on The big board For a lot of people With this thing I'm gonna draft him anyway Paul Pierce, Paul Pierce. I knew it <laughs> I knew I it, it. I, I was like I, I purposely kept Paul Pierce in the air Cause I'm like He gonna be there He has <laughs> a very good idiot. resume man He got a very good resume But I thought Ray Allen was gonna be there So I gotta jump the gun now Because it seemed like Y'all y'all playing this The right way All the big three Celtics Are gone Yeah um, Rondo's still out there Rondo still Rondo Rondo the next guy I'm drafting, at this point, I'm not really drafting for position. I'm drafting for overall, like, you know, just to fill out the roster and we'll figure things out a little bit later. This next player is is an absolute dog. Let me let me, let me pull up these stats real quick. In this 10-year period, 24 points per game, five and a half rebounds, four and a half assists, eight-time All-Star, second team All-NBA and the third team All-NBA. Chris Webber. Jumped all over a seven-foot one guy once upon a time. Vince Carter. Vince Carter is mm-hmm. off the board. Vince Carter. Is that your right. Six, is that your six man KB? He said he's going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out oh, once okay. as, as we go on. I should have known. He Five might rebounds. Start. That's disrespectful to Chris Webber. Yeah. Mike, you back on the board. Uh, I think it's time for me to pick up a power forward. I was thinking Chris Webber. I'm going to go with a. Mari Stoudemire. A different dude. I'm going to go with Chris Bosch. Oh, Ooh. great pick. Ooh, great pick. Chris Good. Bosch had some underrated. Like he was an all star, what seven years? Yeah, uh, I think it was four Six times years? in that decade. Oh, four, four right. or five times. I in keep that decade. mixing years and stuff. MVP was, candidate mm-hmm. shot the ball. One of the best overall shooters at his position. You got even Dreadhead the, Bosch. Even at the end, <laughs> Dreadhead Bosch. <laughs> Dreadhead Bosch was crazy. Yeah, it's not a bad pickup whatsoever. Um, D Millie. I'm trying to think. So I got my starting five. This is official. That's going to be my starting five. There's no questions in it. I'm trying to find out. Um, <laughs> Damn. No who, questions in that motherfucker. <laughs> who I want coming off my bench to like just be a straight bucket? Um, Danny Granger is go still out there. Danny Granger is out there. He can get you some buckets now. Go with a this more, is 2000. Who I want to go with a more energetic, steady guard who could do a little bit of everything for me? Um, You're talking about a guy? Talking about a guy, man, <laughs> champion, a guy who Ooh, had big game performances. You, you, you draft him, please. Set you're talking floor, about right? right. He set the floor. Oh, I was dead ass thinking him. He was on my list. I didn't know big how game high Manu. I didn't know how high he would go though. He was next amongst um, wings for me. So, not so I'm game. up. Yep. You are up. Back to back. This dude had a very small window, but when he had it, he was the favorites of many. Uh, three-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA, Rookie of the Year um, in, in, in that span. 
Um, give me Brandon Roy. Oh my oh, God, bro! Oh my God! Was looking at, it was between him and Mono. Give me Brandon Roy. I'm so glad he failed this hack. I don't need the responsibility of hoping that he may, remains healthy. Yeah, he he, good guy that probably not gonna start. And then my next pick is a three time All Star, All NBA, two time three point champion, seven time forty percent from three, averaging six to seven three points mm. attempts in the early two thousands. Pager Stoyakovic. Oh yeah. man, pa- Pager Woo. had a season where he was like third in MVP voter. Page Stoyakovich, man. Are you shitting me? One of the most underrated guys because his position was loaded with LeBron, Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter, fucking uh, Paul Pierce. Tra- uh, so his all NBAs and shit can't stack up. But that dude, man, when you talk about what he do, not nobody in the 2000s was fucking with Page for what he do. Again, six and seven attempts. Some niggas in the league right now are trying to get to. Yeah. That's what niggas doing in the league right now. Twenty years later, he was shooting seven three point attempts two, 20 years ago and shooting at him at a forty percent clip with two fucking bigs out there with him. Should probably have a championship too, but we know how that he does how that with the Mavericks. He's a oh, champion. Another one when he was a star. Oh, okay, one of the stars. Yeah, so it's back on me. It's back on you. He took Peja. Peja was definitely on my mind. Um. Mm. I'm gonna go with another score off the bench. Okay. Um, he's a big man though. He's probably one of the more skills bigs that we did see during that generation. He also Derek Favors. Oh, Mari No, I'm gonna go Carlos Boozer. Oh, Boozer. Okay. You, you putting together I Dan Williams and him, Dan I, Williams and Carlos Boozer. I seen him so many times and didn't put his ass on my list. He was dead as last. <laughs> I don't want <laughs> him on my four team. I don't want him on my team. <laughs> But I'm okay. I'm glad you Shit. picked him up. Though. Utah Jazz, Carlos Boozer, yeah, nigga. Yeah, I want him. He was nice. Yeah, he cool. was in MVP voting too. I went through Anybody all. to get up there, no. I went through all, <laughs> bro. Hey, That's crazy. On some real shit, I saw That's some crazy, crazy names up there that I'm like, bro, why is these niggas up here? But they was up there. Shit. Oh, no, that's crazy. Because on Basketball Reference, when you go through the decade, it show you who won, and it show you who they beat out, and it show you the voting system. And I'm like, bro, Carlos, who? Carlos Hooser. My what dad. the hell are you doing? That back was my there? dad. My I'm dad was calling me. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Pops. But he he be watching the show. He know we live right now. Mike is on you though. Uh, Who you just take? Booze. Oh yeah. I took him off my list. You had him on your list. Bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm going uh I need a backup PG. I, need I got a, a lot of random. I need a four two. <laughs> That could piece it together for that bench unit. I'm gonna go Chauncey Billups. Chauncey, hey. I was, I was, I, I wanted him my last round, but Can't I'm like, I'm gonna just you. let him sit there. I'm gonna just no, let him sit I, there. I don't know who the fuck want to go for people now. Can so. I? I, I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta like, say gotta something. I gotta up. say What's something. Up? When I said I love the way you draft, that's what I was alluding to. One time champion, Finals MVP, five time All Star, three all, times All NBA, two time All Defensive. Darren Williams, as much as I love him, his resume don't sound like that. Sheesh. That would have been a perfect point guard for you. Because when you, I thought he was going to take him. You were talking about big shot, <laughs> MVP, finals. Mano Ginobili. Yeah, uh, he's, you know, he, what did you say? A floor general? I'm like, oh, he finna take Billups. Mano Ginobili. I'm like, what? <laughs> floor general? But, uh, damn, Billups. Shit. I got back-to-back picks. I'm specifically drafting the 2001 version of this player. Because in 2001, the league determined that he was one of the two best forwards in all of basketball. And we know, you know, a lot of his career got cut short or his dominance got cut short because of some injuries and stuff. He averaged 27 and 11 this season. I'm taking Chris Webber, bro. Okay. Bro, he was on my list. Yeah, he was on my, he was, he was the on top my power forward. If, 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 we, if we go in the best version of them, it's not a lot of motherfuckers that's getting over Chris Webber in this decade. Oh, well, the people that are there. You know what he sounds right. like to me, which is crazy? A lot of the Kings players sound like that, like Pedro Stoyakovich. <laughs> I think he's way better than he get represented because Tracy McGrath, all the names I think, Kobe. Chris Chris Webber is dealing with Tim Duncan, Kevin mm-hmm. Garnett, Dirk, so he get overshadowed. Mike Bibby is dealing with... Uh, Chauncey Billups, the Jason of my Kidd, list, boy. all the all the, the entire Kings roster was raw, but they had four or five niggas that was better than them at their position. That's crazy. They should have had a championship. They should have. They should have. Uh, my next pick is a bit rough. I'm gonna take him, even though I'm pretty confident that none nobody here is gonna take him. But I like his ability to get into the paint as a point guard and, and run my offense for my second. He's on my list if I need Tony to. Parker. 
three-time champion, finals MVP, three-time All-Star doing this phase. And uh, All-NBA? All-NBA appearance. I'm taking Tony Parker. Not a bad pick. Taking Tony Parker. The only Parker. reason I didn't want him is because he played with the Spurs. I ain't really want to do the whole Spurs. I want to Tim Might Duncan. be bad for the locker room. Yeah. Keep him True. away from your, your wife. But as a hooper, whoo. keep away from your wife. <laughs> as crazy. a hooper, oh come on, man, <clears throat> Tony Parker. How many more picks do we have? By the way, I have, uh, I have a total. Of seven. I have seven players. I have okay, seven, so five more picks. But all right, Mikey, you back on the board. Um, I need a guy that's gonna be able to just really just be able to catch and shoot, and just be able to take shots off the bench. It's a lot of it's a lot of guards you could take, man. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of guards. I feel like Kevin Durant and Chauncey Billis gonna be handling the ball. Uh, is Chauncey your starting point guard? He's my backup PG. Oh, I have okay, Chris okay. Paul. All oh, right, right, right. That's that's good veteran point guards you got right there. Yeah. I mean, well, they're young in this universe, but, but yeah, yeah. Who 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 you thinking, Mikey? Oh man, bro. Hold on, let me. You taking longer with these picks than your first ones. Because I feel like these, these, the are, these that are the ones that matter, matter bro. Hold on. I want to check what this dude did in the 2000 one more time before I pick up. <laughs> no, I have one dude in mind, fine. but I'm, bad. I'm debating real we'll, quick. We'll, we'll figure out the rest. You we got some other stuff board. we're doing today? We have a live stream. Yeah. And the BR app. Totally slipped my mind. What yeah. time? Because I got things to do. I think like um, 2 o'clock our time. Oh, okay. Yeah. 2 o'clock. 2 to 2.45 ish or something like that. Yeah, I got a DM. Mm. It should be cool, Shit. though. I like the, the idea for it. Yeah. Somebody invited me to come to... Uh, uh, be a guest on White Chocolate Show. Uh, be White Chocolate? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's that's crazy. what's up. I got a DM. Like, you want to come on blah, blah, that's blah. I'm like, uh, Is anybody going to draft White Chocolate today? I, I, my point guard list is too deep. Yeah, I same. don't think so. <laughs> I I love him. If, if this is a list of favorite players, yeah, he would have been drafted <laughs> right, right. already. <laughs> Your pick uh, is in? We could have yeah. just go all of that Sacramento Kings scene, by the way. Yeah. The, even, even one of the centers that played during that era was a Vlade. one-time all-star. Mm-mm. Brad Miller? Brad Miller. <laughs> Two time All Star, actually. Yes. Two time. Slick wide, light wise. I'm going with the underrated shooting guard. I'm looking at his stats. He had a few years. He was averaging 20 plus. He shot over 40% from deep. Michael Red. Jason Richardson. Ooh. Jason Richardson. I'm going to be honest with you. That motherfucker did not even cross my mind. my list. Jason no. Richardson? With Joe Johnson, Michael Red. Don't, hey, don't, don't tell who that's on the board now. <laughs> Joe Johnson, okay, no, Joe Johnson was on the board. There. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He said you messing up my Yo pick, D. Millie. Uh, I'm going to go with a guy who can anchor my defense um, on the, during the second unit. And Great gonna, pick, Ben Wallace. No, uh, I'm going to go with the former defensive height. player of the year. <laughs> okay. That's a great pick. Okay, I'm you said former defensive player of the year like Ben Wallace oh, don't got three of them things. Bad, <laughs> bro. Bad. Bro. Bro. He corrected me like yeah, like silly silly shit. <laughs> one of them got three. One of them got one. I'm just saying. That is true. That is true. Marcus Camby did have three point six blocks. One of them. Years. Yes, yes. But at the league of blocks. Four time block champion. Again, yeah. I love the way y'all draft though. I love the way y'all draft. That motherfucker did not make my list. I got Meadow Core here before I got Marcus. I, got, I had Camby. I had Camby. I ain't had Meadow Core. I, Cause I was thinking about who can space the floor, but then I'm like, we playing two thousand balls. So I don't need Meadow Core. Yeah. I'm up. Two back to back picks, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I got to take this guy, especially when you're talking about off the bench, Gilbert Arenas. Uh, oh, three time All Star, no three time All NBA, most improved 2003, 25 points per game, 29 points per game, 28 points per game, 34 points per game in the playoffs. When you talk about a bucket. Just don't don't whisper in his ear when he's at the free throw line. Oh, uh, yeah, LeBron, don't do that. Because he will miss them free throws. But we ain't, we, we ain't depending on him to do that. Facts, he won't even be on Late the court. Game, he might yeah. not even be on the floor. Unless uh, he on fire. You know what I'm saying? Then you got to keep that boy out there. Uh, let me delete him off my player pool, and then I'll hit y'all with my next pick. So off my bench, I have two guards. I have a wing. Um, I got to take this guy because he's just too talented to still be up here. I'm taking Amari Stoudemire. Just, yeah. just, just. I'm no. actually surprised he ended up this yeah, me far too. down the list. Um, Marcus can be being taken, and Stoudemire still up there. <laughs> it's, it's rid- Jason Richardson, why you laughing? Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> I'm filling out my roster. <laughs> Shit. See, it, ain't, it ain't even much mm. room in that power forward spot and center spot. Jason Richardson was a. Why, I didn't even. He didn't even cross my. Is that mind. the Danny? That's because you don't know who the fuck that year? is. That's why he crossed my. Oh, 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 play oh. for the Suns. Oh, oh, that's exactly. I mean, wait, wait, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. When? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Don't say nothing. Oh, am I thinking of ah, Richardson? Don't say nothing. Can I fucking talk, please? He don't even know who the okay. fuck ah. he talking about. <laughs> 
You are correct. Jason Richardson played for the Suns. He sure did. He drafted Jason Richardson from 20, 2000s to 2010. What Jason Richardson is he getting? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so he was right. Him. You okay. don't know who Jason Richardson is. I know him from the Suns. If that's the only way that's, you know Jason Richardson, you don't Jason know Jason Richardson, Richardson. You know, bro. You should Google right now. I'm going to give you time to Google Jason Richardson. <laughs> he said, I'm going to give you time to Google. And I want you to understand who Jason Richardson is because this is unacceptable. Oh, he played for the Warriors. My bad. Look at his stats from that time period. Was he was he hooping? Which version would you rather have? The, the Warriors or you want the Suns? Okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Don't say your bad. He made a statement and said, you saying that because you don't know who Jason Richardson is. And he's saying it correct because halfway correct because you kind of didn't know who Jason Richardson was. Yeah. So I, I'm just playing referee between y'all again. You don't have to say my bad to me. I just didn't know prime Jason Richardson. Don't look at me talking to you. He, I already proved my shit. Okay. He <laughs> proved it from me. All right. Whose pick is it now? KB's, right? Because you just take Jason Richardson? No, 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 no. I didn't. It's, I oh. think it's on you. It's still oh. on you, P. You just drafted Amari Stoudemire. Yeah, after I took Gabriel Arenas. And he just oh, drafted. so it's back on D-Mills. Okay. I didn't drive okay. Uh, I'm going Joe Johnson. Great pick, D-Mills. I don't think you take Joe Johnson if P. didn't just mention his name. No, I'm Yeah, not. that's my fault. My fault. <laughs> Joe Johnson was definitely out there. My fault. My fault. Okay, okay. I wanted another. I yeah, wanted okay. <laughs> okay. My fault. Let me shut the fuck up. What version of Joe Johnson are you getting? Atlanta Hawks. Good shit. Um, I'm taking the fucking three time defensive player of the God year. God damn it, <laughs> Wallace. God damn it. Hey, I'm bro. talking too much. I'm talking too fucking much. Hey, the center core is kind of like it's it's it's, it's, it's not fucking deep. It's not very. Uh, why why did I have this dude on my board? He got drafted in 08. <laughs> he played two years in this era. Why is he on my board? Who oh, doing them two years though? No, it was it was Marcus Saul. Oh. <laughs> so no, he didn't. I damn near thought about I putting had, him I in, looked, but I, I was I like, fuck before it. I put him on my board, and then I saw he only played two seasons. The center position is kind of very mid right now, so I'm not even gonna draft it. We gonna be cool. I think the power forward position has a lot of people left that could slide over and and play that. Um, but I think I'm I'm I'm. Trying to figure out between two wings right now, and mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say their names because, oh, oh, it's not even close. I'm sorry. Why did I even have this as a conversation? Sean Marion, come on, the, Wait, the, no, the Matrix. What? Give me the Matrix, baby. Oh my Give god, me the Matrix. great pick, KB. I didn't realize that Sean Marion, bro. That was literally my guy, bro. Should have drafted him. He was That's one literally too my late. fucking guy. Sean Marion averaged one season 20, uh, 21.8, made an All NBA team, also got 12 rebounds per. And about two blocks and two steals. Holy shit, Sean, bro. Sean Mary. It was between him and another guy that might still be there in the, in the couple rounds, so I'm not even going to mention his name because he might still get picked up by me. Uh, the next guy, hmm. I'm looking Come at these, on, these That's guards. That's the ultimate glue guy right there. I'm looking at these guards. I'm I, looking at the guards too, KB. There's another glue guy here. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, 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 another guy. But in, a, but in a different way, though. This guy is going to run around and tire your ass out. He's also willing to do the running on the defensive side of the is ball. Is that who you drafted? This is who I'm drafting. Richard Hamilton. Richard Hamilton. Big Rip. Because because he couldn't keep a diaper on when he was a shorty. Big Rip Hamilton. Hmm. Um, just a, another guy that's going to play his role. I ain't, at this point in the draft, I'm not looking no for dis- nobody no that's going to do nothing crazy. No wasn't on my list. Interesting. I knew I knew I was aware of him because I had Ben Wallace and Chauncey and Tayshawn on my list. But I'm like shooting guards in the two thousands, Richard Hamilton is not gonna get drafted. I, I drafted took him, him over I took Jason Richardson over him. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I drafted <laughs> him specifically to play defense and shoot forty five percent from three, which he did one of his all star years. One of his well, because he took one point two. One point five. Yeah. <laughs> one point five. But listen, throughout the course of his career, if you just increase we only play in two thousand basketball. For sure. For That's sure. 45% for from sure. three percent from the league sure. that year. For sure. I, I love it, man. It's a lot of talent up here. I think it's a lot of talent. Some of these picks that I'm hearing, a lot of niggas that all sleep on. I, I, got, I know. I, I know a lot. I know. I, me and you grew up in the same household, basically. Mm-hmm. The outside guys, I know y'all wasn't watching a lot of 2000 basketball, but there's some guys that I think y'all going to sleep on. So I'm mad at myself because I could actually not have to pick a lot of shit. So I think my 10th pick. Is you up, Mike. Hold on. Let me check the stats for this dude one more. I just want to see. What he was doing. So you value stats. Ooh, I know exactly. I mean, I can see his phone. But <laughs> I hope it's if, not the same guy. If you draft that guy, Mike, mm. 
I just want to see what he was doing. Was was he up to what you think he was up to? That motherfucker was one of the he got six because because yeah because the accolades ain't gonna say he was incredible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He can stand out, but the motherfucker for the name he got some status. Lamar Odom. Mm-hmm. Lamar that's a real nice pick. Back up power forward. See, he's on my list. You know, I got to take him Back up wing, power forward, guard if you need him to, you know. I knew a little bit of everything. Positional versatility right Great pick. There. Great pick. You know I love you some L.O. D. Mills. Uh, I'm going with another dude who shot over 40% from three for multiple seasons. Average 20. Michael points. Red. Uh, no, if it's no. Michael Red, that'd be fun. Yeah. No, I'm going to go Rashard Lewis. Okay. Okay. Interesting pick. I felt like he would be up there, but he definitely would have been up it's there. A guy I had it's, a, it's your team. Yeah, it is. It's a guy I had above him that I don't think you even gonna have in your mind. You got to really Are know you some basketball. Specifically, enough. staying away from Danny Granger. Yeah, because I Dan, this is the this is the era to take Danny. Yeah, Granger. I this is where I would take Danny, yeah. Danny Granger. Um, so I'm up with two picks, right? Mm-hmm. I have nine players. I got three picks left. Um, I'm taking a. I just love defense. My team got so much of it. I'm taking the 2004 Defensive Player of the Year, which is Ron Artest. Oh, like, my God. Yep. He's on my list, bro. Uh, he, he was, he was right on my list. Sean Marion for me. All-star, All-NBA third team, Defensive Player of the Year, two-time All-Defensive first team, and two-time Defensive second team. So, four all, uh, four all defense. Ron Artest. Like, this is not Metaro piece. This is a guy this who will punch you in your fucking Artest. jaw if you throw something from them stands. Mm-hmm. Um my next pick is a guy who I think is extremely slept on and who I was kind of referencing. Um, was an MVP candidate, tw- 21 and 11. Um, Antoine Jameson. Antoine Jameson. Antoine Jameson. Antoine Jameson. A very good Inside pick. out. Just, just versatility. We just stacking up on versatility, man. We stacking up on versatility. It's a very good pick. Uh, Antoine Jameson, I said, and then Ron Artest. Okay, I just had to type it out. Um, so that was that your Not nine my final and pick. ten? Yep, nine and ten. Nine and ten. Okay, we only got a couple more rounds left of this. Do I want another guard? Or do I want to? Oh no, no, no! That was ten and eleven. That was ten and eleven. So yeah. we got one more go through. Damn. No, I need. I have two yeah. more picks because I have five and five. So I need to have my two uh, bench or end of the bench players. Yep, you do. You do yes, have. I got ten as well. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, Wow, so these next picks I'm about to see are my last. These are like players. my these are favorite slash just like help your team out, man. Okay. Locker room. Okay. For me. Do your thing. Cause it's it's, your team. Yeah, there's some niggas on here I'm trying to get. Still. <laughs> I'm motherfuckers finna see two minutes. No, nah, you know, you never know. Nigga twists his ankle. Fuck that favorite player This nigga Cause you know back in the 2000s The uh technology for sneakers is terrible. Twist the ankles was a regular is, thing. Yeah. What's you what you thinking about D Mills? Uh I'm looking for a guy that was a twenty and ten guy. Uh, <laughs> you looking for him? He's looking no, 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 no. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him. But that's guy. what I'm saying. Antoine Jameson been there for several rounds. Yeah. You took Marcus Canby. I don't th- I don't think I don't think Marcus Canby wasn't gonna go nowhere. And if he did Definitely could have picked his ass Out of the free agency For sure For sure, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Don't say my bad I, thought, I don't know it's why It's your team It seemed like Marcus Kane Would have been took But I didn't It's your team My bad Why you keep saying my bad saying my bad yeah. <laughs> My bad for saying my bad <laughs> That means when you actually say it It's not genuine It's just a habit So whenever he's He, 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 he slap you out of your face Oh my bad My bad G He really don't give a fuck <laughs> who, who are you looking at D-Mills I'm gonna go Zebo. Zebo had a very good run during that 2000s run. He was a very physical bully. That's uh, a D-Mills pick? Bully coming off Most the improved. That's a, that's a D-Mills pick for sure. Yeah, e- you slept a little bit. 25 and 9. Well, you took Antoine Jameson recently, right? Yep, I'm 21 and 10. 10 22 and 9. Antoine Jameson was there. I'm talking about just literally giving you 20 and 10. Sheesh. I think I underrated Antoine Jameson. <laughs> it's on me, right? Yes, sir. I need a motherfucker that's going to be there if some shit going down on the court, fight break out. I'm taking Steven Jackson. Oh, cool. Well, I know my little, He's much definitely going to punch a motherfucker if you need <laughs> that's him. That's all I need to do. <laughs> um, I Zebo. Zebo. Oh, remind me, is Jermaine O'Neal still on the board? He is. He is. I'm drafting Jermaine O'Neal. He is. <laughs> Most improved player, three times all You want 20 and 10? He's damn near walking on that borderline. If he ain't got 20 and 10, it's 20 and 9. No, it's it's definitely 20 and 10 for three straight seasons. 11 probably, actually, right? Um, no, t- 10. Okay. And then the year after that, he didn't get the 10 rebounds, but he gave you 24 points per. 
most improved player, three time All NBA, six time All Star during this Is that era. when he had his fifty point game? You, bet, you, bo- you bogus, KB. What I do? You heard he needed twenty and ten. <laughs> <let him laughs> take. Him. Who you take? Zach Randolph. Zach, Zach, Zach Randolph ain't fucking with oh, Jermaine O'Neal. Right. Not he in not, not in this decade. I'm sorry for sure. Um, my next pick is a three time champion. Um, arguably the greatest ever to ever do what he does. I'm picking Greg Popovich as my coach. Oh, you already picked all 12 of your No, 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 no. He's just taking a page. I'm just, just, I'm just taking, taking my page. coach yeah. right now because oh. y'all going to get into you be, coach you beat territory. You me to it. Good shit. You beat I, me to I, it. I'm, I'm taking Greg Popovich to, to run this team. You beat me to it. You fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you're back on the board. On the clock. Mm, uh, every, every team just needs that one motherfucker to just shoot the hell out the ball. Give me Kyle Corbin. <laughs> Holy shit That's my motherfucking 12 man His ass finna be in that bitch Holy clapping. shit Okay Would you rather have a better clapper? No nah, he's got pretty big hands I've seen him Cal Corver bro Michael Red is still up here His ass wasn't gonna play either I, th- I don't know why you keep saying that Cause the, what, the 12 man ain't finna mean but shit people, for my team But people that are watching this are still gonna look at the entirety of your roster Yeah Because again anything can happen Well that motherfucker is one of the best so you, shooters you, of all you, time on you're my absolutely roster right. you, you You're think, absolutely right You think right. if the Lakers If there was no cap And the Lakers are building a team And Kyrie could be their 12th man Or it could be fucking Monte Morris You think LeBron gonna say Just get Monte Morris no. If I was playing with the team, <laughs> hell yeah. What but this motherfucker's an unrealistic team. <laughs> no, do you? It's your team. You're right. Give Cal Corbin. That shit was all Cal time. Corver. Cal Corbin. Cal Corbin. All star. Oh, nah. He went to make all star. He went to make all star. getting the arrows mixed up. But I mean, if you're looking strictly for shooting, Cal Corbin fits that even in this era. You're absolutely right. Point guard. Michael Red also fits it, but he gives you a little bit more, too. You don't want more. You just want a straight shooting. I'm looking at a point guard, but. It's still, is Rondo still I think up it's still there? One, Rondo it's still a couple. up there, bro. Rondo is still up there, bro. But Rondo ain't at the top. He's at. Yeah. He's the last. It's a. It's There's a. Two name. guards I'm looking at right now. Name them. Is this your last pick? I'm yeah, sorry. just name them. Yeah. Stephon Marbury or the Baron Davis. Good. See, you on those top. Are, you on top of your good. shit. Yes. Um, he talking about Rondo. Don't let him throw you off. Because <laughs> Rondo played like two seasons in this. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm gonna go Baron Davis. Baron Davis. Um, I'll get my back to back. I'm gonna take. I personally would have went Stephon Marbury because he had his own sneaker and a tattoo. The Starberry. We used to rock them bitches, KB. Easily. Uh, I'm gonna take Phil Jackson. Just get it over with. Mm-hmm. Need to make sure. I had to make sure I got him um, to tie up everything. And then um, this is pick what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is my last player as well. Mm-hmm. Um. Ooh, a lot of thought going into it. Yeah, because it's I, I put together a long list. It's so many names up yeah. here. I would love to love to have them all. Um, I've been loving the versatility we've been having. Um, who do you just take? Uh, Baron Davis. Baron Davis. I could just take him off my list. Um, so my team is Jason Kidd, Ray Allen, Tracy McGrady, Tim Duncan, Paul Gasol, Brandon Roy, Gilbert Arenas, Paja Stojakovic, Amari Stoudemire, Antoine Jameson, Ron Artest. Oh, um, we are going to take. Oh my God, this guy's still on the board. Now, now I got to look deeper. <laughs> oh wait, I don't have a player to pick. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah you, you better look at some coaches or some jerseys. Yeah, you the last. Yep. Man, you the last. Oh yeah, because you just took a coach. That makes sense. Yeah. You better look at some coaches or some. So as long as Pierre don't pick the person I'm thinking, I, I, I got a guy. I got a guy, and that guy's damn good. He's damn good. I, I'm looking at my team to try to see what I need. We don't really need much. We got size. We Take got scoring. Corver. We got shooting. We got athletic, <laughs> athleticism. We got versatility. I'm not fucking with the point guard. So, but for me, is Michael Ray was very underrated. Yep. Danny Granger had a nice little back half for mm-hmm. the 2000s. Um, Shane Batty was such a great mm. defensive player. That was one of the other things I did for the end. Andre of, I was just looking at the all defensive teams throughout the 2000s. Bruce like, Bowen, Tayshawn yeah. Prince, Andre Iguodala, Josh Smith had a great uh, end of the 2000s. Andrew Bogut was anchoring defense. Um, <laughs> Please don't drop Andrew Bogut. <laughs> somebody drop somebody. Al, Al Jefferson. Jefferson. Al, Al Jefferson, Jefferson makes, the killer. Yeah. 21 and 11. Um, That's a 2010 guy. It was, <laughs> technically. No That's defense your type of dude, too. He ain't have him on his list, did you? 
I did not put Big Al on my yeah. list. I am going to take. Let me, let me see my defense off the bench. Ron Artest. What do you think about that? Um, LeBron got a new contract extension, Mike. How, how do you feel about that as a Lakers fan? Um, that you don't have to worry about the potential rumors of him going back to Cleveland next season, yada, yada. It feels good. You know, it's, you know, it feels safe. But I already felt like it wasn't. I didn't. I wasn't worried in the first part. I already felt like L.A. was his spot. Mm-hmm. It wasn't gonna go go back to Cleveland. I'm like that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna just take the guy like, kind of like Mike, but this nigga still raw. Uh, <laughs> I like Kyle Corbin. Kyle Corbin is that dude? Most improved. Hito Turkoglu, 2000. He was on my list. He Hito Turkoglu. That's a very good. Point. Kyle Corbin. Don't forget, he won best. I like half. the size. Four man. years out of the 2000s. <laughs> yeah, he did rock that fucking Bieber <laughs> before Bieber. So I was like, yeah. Uh, D Mills, you're on the clock. Oh yeah, I, I, I don't know. I thought it was one of you. Uh, my coach would be Phil Jackson. Oh no, Pierre, didn't you just take Phil Jackson? My bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll go George Carl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go uh, Doc Rivers for my coach. He did win Coach of the Year one year, and he won Champion. a championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boston Celtics championship. So nobody wanted Pat Riley. I had him. I, he was literally like the last coach I was looking at, <laughs> but I decided to go with Derek Carr. No, Larry Brown. So you t- what is your short list so, for, so, bro? So you, you just took, so you took the ring. You 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 didn't value the rings because I think you're the only coach up here that doesn't have a ring. He just took George Carl because he fucked with the George Carl Nuggets. But we don't have y'all sure running. Nuggets, y'all gonna be nice. Had rally ring. If that's the case, he, I would have took D'Antoni. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Hey. Uh, my last player Rick is gonna Carlisle. be uh, AK47. I'm gonna take it. Okay, he was on my last pick, mm-hmm. um, and I get to get the first jersey off the board. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so there's a couple different ways I could go. This I can go traditional and just draft the Chicago Bulls. Always gonna be fire, but that's kind of boring. So instead, I went with the uh, Wolves jersey. Because KG is my star player. The Wolves jersey with the black those tree is, trim. Bro, I was thinking about those. That's the, that's the jersey that I'm picking up. Wolves jersey, black tree trim down the side, around the arms and stuff. I, I think that shit was fire as hell growing up. And KG is my star player, so I get to keep him in the jersey he won an MVP with. So you might. Um, you, you're looking at jerseys, right? You said you said before we yeah, started, yeah, you a, stayed up all night trying to figure out the right jersey. You got the, the second since pick. Since we got Chris Paul... And we also got Kobe, who got drafted to that team. We're going to go with Charlotte. Mm. We got the Charlotte Hornets. Is this the pinstripe Charlotte Hornets? The pinstripes. Okay. Pinstripe Charlotte Hornets off the board. I'm going to go with the 76ers. Uh, the ones with the ball right underneath the number. The dazzle. Yeah. The seven, that was on my board, the 76er dazzle. That's the one I want. Okay. We are taking the uh, – I, I, a part of me wanted to keep it plain. Spurs mm-hmm. because it's Tim Duncan, but we're gonna do the Houston Rockets with the rocket on it, the, mm, the blue, beautiful Steve Francis beautiful early yeah ones. So nobody wanted teal horse pistons. Nah, nobody wanted that was that was that that damn near was a, this part of the, the decade because they went over to the All blue. You need is one, but I'm a, yeah I ain't feeling <laughs> now. I ain't I ain't feeling now. All right. That is the end of our draft. So now we can Bro, give a recap. Bro, some guys on this list. It's, it's a lot of people undrafted. left, man. The you can make a, you can make a team with undrafted people. Uh, Gary Payton could be a point guard. Derrick Rose, Rondo, um, Michael Red, Jason Jamal Chandler's Crawford, Ben Gordon, Jason Terry, Monte Ellis, Tyreek Ben Gordon Evan, is a crazy name. Kevin Shout Martin. Out to years, ben though. Gordon was on my list. Danny right. Granger, Shane Battier, Karan Butler, Gerald Wallace, Bruce Bowen, Tayshawn Prince, Andre Iguodala, Josh Smith, David West, Boris Delisle, David Lee. David 2000s, Lee. David Lee with the Knicks is different. Andrew Boga, Al Jefferson, Al Horford. He was naming Andrew Boga. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Boga is one of the best defensive centers then. Derek. Better, better check them uh them defensive rankings. Read me through your roster. My roster? And and pitch to the people at home why you drafted the best team and why you're confident in your team. So, listen, we got two of the best bigs of all time, and they're, they complement each other. Immediately, I feel like that. You got to read through. I don't yeah. know who's uh, on the team. I was about to. Oh, okay. Uh, Shaq, right, let him get to my it. Phone, my phone, my Shaq phone. and Dirk Nowitzki. Mm-hmm. We got Carmelo Anthony on the wing, who's one of the best scorers we've seen of this generation. Then we got Darren Williams setting the table and facilitating the Facilitating everything. You got him with Dirk with the pick and pop, Shaq with the pick and roll. There's a lot of different options right there. That's a deadly uh, pick and roll, pick and pop combination. 
Then we got Manu, first option off the bench. Uh, he could play the two. He could play the one. Uh, he could do a lot of things for us um, at that guard position. Then we got Carlos Boozer, Marcus Camby anchoring it in the back. Joe Johnson's a pure bucket. Uh, Rashard Lewis is a sniper who shot over 40, shot 40%. Then we got 2010 Zebo, and then Baron Davis is also another uh, spark plug that we could have coming off our bench. How do you think uh, – talk to me about your coach and convince me that you got the best coach. George Carl, up-tempo coach. Uh, we're going to push the pace. Darren Williams, uh, Shaq going to be running. Dirk going to be trailing. Then we got mm. Carmelo on the wings. And we just got a lot of different options right there. Do you, did you think you drafted well? I do. I think I drafted really well. I think I, especially with the starting lineup, I think I feel like all those guys complement each other. Okay. Pierre, talk to me through your team. Uh, oh, I forgot about Dwayne Wade. I didn't even say Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade is in my talk about Dwayne. Talk, talk about Dwayne. <laughs> Go ahead. Talk about Dwayne. Top really high pick. Yeah. He got Carmelo and D Wade on the wings. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it's just a lot of different options. And then D Wade can also handle the ball. D Wade is a very good ball handler. <laughs> the ball. It's, a lot of, it's a lot of different options in that backcourt when you got Dwayne Wade and Darren Williams. I'm starting off my, my spiel with my head coach, Phil Jackson. Um, it starts with him because he's a he's a he's a great example of the theme around my team, which was a lot of the guys that I have, they dominated the era. Forget a guy, you know what I mean? Like a guy having the back end, he was really, really good. My team is built around longevity throughout the dominance of the decade, starting with Phil Jackson, who won the championship first three peat. Not his first three people, but the first three Peter, the Lakers, 2000, 2001, 2002. They lost to the Pistons. Um, so that's already four appearances. Then he won uh, in 2009 and 2010 with the Lakers. And then he lost to the Celtics. So that's seven appearances uh, in the NBA Finals throughout the decade. Seven. Seven. LeBron got him beat. Seven. Um, and then it, my team is built around Tim Duncan. Who had three finals appearances, three was, championships, right. uh, all defensive, all NBA, the entire decade. Same thing with Jason Kidd, uh, eight All Star, eight defensive, eight all, all I'm NBA. I'm glad you picked the Duncan first because I feel like a lot of not a lot of people would have done that. I was praying that he got to four. Like I, that's how much that's I, how I was wanted like, him. damn, bro. Four. Uh, if he would have took Shaq, I was taking Duncan. That was like, um, same thing with, with the rest of my team. Tracy McGrady. Obviously, we know about the injuries, but in the, the in that decade is where. He's seven-time All-Star, seven-time All-NBA, scoring champion. Um, Ray Allen, Paul Gasol, Brandon Roy, Gilbert Arenas, Peja, Amari, Antoine Jameson, Ron Artest, and he do with the Rockets jersey. I just feel like I have the best team. We got the versatility. We got the size. We got the shooting. We got go-to guys. We got a floor general. We got defense. Uh, we got size with Jason Kidd being a 6'4", 6'5", point guard. Um, yeah, we, everybody can pass. It's just not you can't. I don't know. You just can't look at my team and tell me that there's no flaw. And I and I think my guys are just better basketball players. At the end of the day, they're just <laughs> better, better basketball, basketball players, players from the Y'all decade. Teams suck. From the decade. <laughs> um, I'm looking at my roster. Unless I drafted somebody and didn't pull them down, I only have 11 people. Name them. We can tell you. Uh, Steve Nash, Tony Parker, AS, uh, VC, Rip Hamilton, Paul Pierce, Sean Marion, AK47, Kevin Garnett, uh, Chris Weber. Jermaine O'Neal, Yao Ming. That's 11. Did I draft somebody and then pull them down? Or did I, when me drafting that coach, did I fuck up and I need one more person? Probably needed one more person. I can't remember. He's probably thirsty. Did you name Richard Hamilton? I did. He did. Let's say if I did only have 11, then I'm taking Michael Red. If I did have 12 and somebody at home, just pretend like I had 12. Um, so, look, look this, is, this is the thing about my team. I'm trying to figure out how exactly I want to run it. So there's a couple different iterations of our roster. We got the small ball backcourt between Steve Nash and Allen Iverson. We don't really feel confident in that, depend, you know, depending on which team we're going against. So because of that, even though he's one of the greatest of this generation, I'm moving Ayad to the bench row. I'm moving Vince Carter up to the two. Sean Marion and his, his rangy mm. 
Mm. Uh, ranginess on defense is going to move over to the three. Yao Ming and Kevin Garnett are holding it down low. KG, I think a lot of people that forget about. That's a beautiful. Well, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. People forget about how amazing of a season it was for KG in 2004 when he won his MVP. Playing point guard. His team was at. Well, okay. I don't, I won't, I don't want to say that. But he did not have a very well constructed team. He led them all the way to the NBA championship. Them boys couldn't make the playoffs for 30 years after he left, it felt like. Yes. He was that nice. Um, we got the coach. Arguably the greatest coach to ever pick up a clipboard in Greg Popovich. He had three championship wins in this 10-year era. And he's got his... Oh, Is that the say, most? Um, out of us? For, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. No. Wait, who Wait, who do you have? Phil Jackson. His, just, oh, I just, forgot, just I forgot the Lakers. A, I forgot about... Just the Lakers 3 P already matches about. Popovich. Not to mention the, the other, other two of his, you know, five. But whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever. Um... He got carried. That's my argument against that. Greg Popovich <laughs> built those teams in the system. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I can't say the same about your coach, personally. He had two of the best 10 players of all time on his roster. Who not winning the championship at that point? Their exposure. <laughs> he, he didn't do what they were supposed to do. <laughs> they ain't had two top 10, though. Uh, either way. But they had three guys that were mm. borderline top 10. Mm. Bosch had already cut his hair. He wasn't as good in that era. <laughs> it's the reason why when they put those teams together, Phil Jackson is always a name that's brought up because they know they're going to get him over the clip, over the hump, <laughs> and he does. He does. Shout out to Phil Jackson. Without him, Jordan was just a Phil scorer. Phil Jackson a pop as the greater coach. Phil Jackson. I'm going Greg Popovich. Greg Mike. Popovich. If I had to pick a coach, Greg Popovich. Who is your coach? Um, Doc Rivers. Oh, so shut up. <laughs> Let's hear your team. <laughs> Wait, I'm not done. I'm not done pitching my team. Um, we got Greg Popovich. We got some of the smoothest jerseys in the history of basketball. We gonna be fun. We gonna run. We got shooters. We why got, are y'all? Why are y'all running? We got Steve Nash, baby. Yeah. We got Steve, Na- Steve Nash orchestrated one of the greatest offenses in yeah. history of basketball. Yeah, Revolutionized yeah, I mean, yeah. game of basketball. Your team, are you running with yeah, your team? We don't. You, he don't have not, to be on the court your forty-eight team, minutes. Your team. Your team. You, you're not thinking about your team. I am thinking about my team. You running, but now y'all feels away, coach. How are we yelling? Well, fuck y'all. I, I, now it's fuck y'all. Fuck <laughs> y'all. We got people that can. I'm just saying. We put C Web in that lineup. Then I'm KG and C Web. I'm just saying. KG and C Web. We running. We running. Running. Which one of them gonna guard his shack? We not worried about KG. What? KG, one of the best defenders of all time. He's the most dominant force we've ever seen. I'm not saying we're stopping him. The nigga averaged 38, the, the, if, if 38 that's the case, 17 we, nobody, in the fucking playoffs. Nobody here has anybody to deal with Shaq. Nobody here. Yeah, but KG yo, but, has but, one of but, the but, highest chances but, out of everybody drafted. Uh, who, who? Who other than KG? Tim Duncan is just right KG there. KG and Tim Duncan 1A, 1B. Tim Duncan beat Dwight Shaq. Dwight Howard, too. He, Dwight he, Howard. Oh, we're talking about team accolades now? In a 101 situation. So y'all going to act like Dwight Howard not up there, Shut too. up. He, <laughs> no <team>. Dwight, <laughs> Dwight, <laughs> Dwight Howard is up there. Come on, Dwight Howard is up there. In a 101 situation, KG has a good of a chance as Tim Duncan as Dwight Howard. Has Kevin Garnett and his team mm-hmm. ever got bad Shaq? I don't care about the team. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. He was Tim, running Sam Cassell and Trent Hassel. Tim, we're Tim, good. But if he was able to hold his matchup, like you're saying, they would have probably we're good. won. Am I'm I bugging? Saying, I'm just saying. KG, one of the greatest defensive players of all time. Hands down. down, down, hands down. Hands down. down. You got a good option in Tim. I got a good option in KG. I guess you got a good option in Dwight. But Dwight is so sensitive, and he that the Superman. You put an extra battery in his back. We, <laughs> <laughs> he coming to play. That's a different. He coming yeah. with a different motivation. We got, we got people. We got people on the team that's gonna drive his ass. Okay, man. talk to. We him. gonna get him in in, 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 char, in lock. I seen that guy on the team try to do that, and that didn't do nothing but make him more sensitive. So not talking about that right now. We, we going through my team, <laughs> but that's that's not uh, the right era though. Yeah, I was at like 2011, 2012. Because he wasn't with him. <laughs> All right, so we starting off. I think I got the best starting five. Everybody thinks they have the best. <laughs> we starting that bitch off with Chris Paul. He, he got a bunch of fucking names. He, no cohesiveness. He just, you know, he just gave, he managing the game and everything no like that. We got these Kobe fucking Bryant. At the two spot, and Doc, LeBron Doc James. Rivers is coaching it too. These names, hey, I don't give a fuck about the this coach. We got LeBron coach. James on the this team. team. Okay, LeBron see, James. I, is I've coach. seen LeBron lose more finals than he won them. So, but okay, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. now we see, fucking you got with more LeBron. finals appearances <laughs> than most motherfuckers on your I team. I thought you was about to argue that LeBron what? kills coaches. I thought Did that he, was the real. You got more finals appearances than most motherfuckers on your team. Do we have more rings than them? Keep going with your team. He's telling me about some appearances. You think I give a fuck about when a nigga lost? No. 
the fuck are you talking about? Y'all, y'all, talk to me. Okay, suck, bro. so you got CP. Yo, yo, Kobe. LeBron ain't even got more fucking rings than my coach, nigga. Is you serious? <laughs> Are you fucking that playing with me? Had one of the be- two of the best players of all that time man, on that day. He don't play. He don't play with some of the best of all time. Are <laughs> you shitting me? He's one of the best of like all time. Fifty years too. Let's not act like he was only coaching for eighteen seasons. Who? Pat Riley. I have Phil Jackson. Oh yeah, Phil Jackson. That's the same, same case. What that mean? Then him having a lot of rings. If LeBron was given the same amount of time as Phil Jackson, he might get the same amount of rings. The success rate don't say that. <laughs> That's Russell Westbrook's fault. The success rate don't say that. <laughs> The success rate don't Man, say can I that. finish my team? Yes. We got, like I said, Kobe Bryant at the two. We got LeBron James at the three. Chris Bosh at the four. Dwight Howard at the five. Dwight Howard going to be the one that handle the shack. He probably not going to lock his ass down, but he going to be he going to make it tough for him at least. We got one of the best dudes of all time. This is my is favorite part of your team. <laughs> LeBron, ja- LeBron James. LeBron <laughs> James. That lineup sounded weird. I ain't going to lie to you. The starting lineup is, is nice. LeBron James is one of the best motherfuckers of all time and put you in position to win. Then we have two he of the best. He's also 22 years old in this, we, this universe. We got, yes. <laughs> that motherfucker came in the league killer. You absolutely right. But this, this, right. this, version, of right. not, this, ver- this version of LeBron is not a champion. We got champions on the team though. But this I'm version of LeBron ran from the grind. But I'm but I'm letting you know. We got you, tell, hey, you saying, That's you, what I'm saying. He said he no, said no, no, the no, table. No, 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 the motherfucker that was carrying the 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 Ira nobody Noble. calves, no, n- but he yeah. wasn't he wasn't giving you. But the that's rings. what I'm saying. He set the table up, but you have to listen about the rest of the roster. No, that's you what saying he, you keep doing this team shit, man. Be- because he he's, he said he takes you there. He don't do. That's not this version of LeBron. LeBron puts you he, in position got, to in, win. In this no matter. era, he got to the finals once and, and got his ass swept by my Tim Duncan. Anyway, oh, that's one of the best teams of all time. <laughs> the because, one of the best because, teams because of all they time. Had who? Tim Duncan. One of the that best team teams of all time. They also had Bro. one of the best coaches of all time that got picked up he's before a player. He's one of the best coaches because he had Tim Duncan. Wait, 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 wait. How many people did LeBron have drafted in this draft from that team? What you mean? From that team that got swept. It's just LeBron. That Spurs team had. Tony Parker get drafted today. Mm. Manu got drafted look today. How late they got drafted. Tim Duncan got drafted let today. Me, let Manu, me, Manu, picked Manu picked today. Manu up like the fifth let round. Me ask you, he picked up Darren Williams over Chauncey <laughs> Billups. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Is any of them names as relevant as they are if they don't play with Tim Duncan? Only I, I don't know. I couldn't tell yeah, you. You don't know. Right. Uh, but uh, the difference is they 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 there's a lot of niggas who, even if you don't know, you say, hell yeah. But continue. But And the reason I brought that up is because he... Remember I just had to tell him My coach got more rings Than his guy mm-hmm. His guy don't have Them rings yet He bringing up These appearances And rings LeBron don't have them yet nigga. But the next The next guy I'm finna mention Dude Okay Kobe Ryan Like I said If you would let me finish LeBron you is one of the best You named Kobe table. already we, You at your bench Kobe You don't even know Chris How to talk Paul about the team is finishing that bitch they out sh- They should have a ring together they fit. They should. They should, but they, they don't. Should, but they, <laughs> they, they should. They thought. They should, but they don't. Don't, don't bring me to that. Don't uh, bring me to that. But off the bench, uh, we got Chauncey Billets as our floor general. Yes. Got Jason registered as a as a oh, ex weapon. Oh my god. Kevin Durant is a guaranteed fucking bucket. I don't care what age That's he true. is. Lamar Odom is just a dude that fits all yes. the gaps. Six men of the year. And then Rasheed. You Wallace. don't even know some of the accolades of your player. Six men of the year. Lamar Odom. Rasheed Wallace. We already know what he does defensively. What does he do? Motherfucker, he's three time defensive player of the year. He's gonna no, lock down in the paint. No, no, no. You, you, Wait, who are you talking about again? Rasheed Wallace. Rasheed Wallace. You no, 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 no. I said, bro. No, 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 no. Ben Wallace, no, Ben Wallace, no. Ben Wallace, Ben Wallace. Now, ben you Wallace. can't convince me that you got a better team than me and you don't even know who the fuck your players is. I'm mad. I didn't Man, y'all acting like the motherfucker. You don't even know who the fuck your players is. The motherfucker's name is that close, No. So you ain't Wallace. You ain't never fucked up somebody's name. Not Rasheed Wallace. I didn't fuck. You didn't fuck up his name. You got two niggas confused. If I would have got him confused, I would have drafted fucking Rasheed. Wallace. I know who Ben Wallace is. He did draft Ben Wallace. Sheesh. That motherfuckers be too quick. No, you be he, no nigga. Drop, you be Rasheed. too quick. Nah, and, lo, and honestly, I did when I, I drafted Ben Wallace. I put Rasheed Wallace on my team when I was putting that shit down. Right, That's Ben why Wallace free agent. You just right. waved him. You literally no, just I waved didn't. Him. No, I didn't. No, I, we we picked up fucking Fuck ben Wallace. Now, if that was Derek, you wouldn't have that same patience. You'd be I like, know who the oh, is. he thought he 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 thought <laughs> uh, Jason Richardson Rasheed played Wallace? for the Warriors. Also on the list, he was on my list. And then off the who was on the list? Rasheed Wallace. And then off the bench, oh, 11 to 12 men, we got Steven Jackson, 
Just to bring some fucking grit and then Kyle Corver to shoot. Now I got I got plenty of holes to poke in your roster, which you know I did it. already. But I am going to say this. When it comes to shopping, stopping Shaq, Ben Wallace has success. Mm-hmm. He, he does. does. Mm-hmm. That's why we hope he got Rasheed. Right. <laughs> I'm going to leave Rasheed for y'all. Yeah. Now, if I continue to poke holes, thing I want to address with your roster, KB, because mm-hmm. we're keeping everything 2000s. For sure. You're bringing... Allen Iverson off the bench. This guy was mad when Larry Brown took him out the game. Let alone didn't mm-hmm. start. That's going to be a problem. But this is this the is that's going to be a problem. This is our argument to Allen Iverson. Retired when people when they wanted him to come off the bench. That, that, just leave that. This, all, this is what. This and is now you're talking argument. about him at his height. This is my argument to Allen Iverson. <clears throat> Bitch, I'm Greg Popovich. You gonna do what I say? At the time, he this is not the same. Greg Popovich. He, 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 he a free he, agent. We got three championships. He's not, in this era. He's not revered as we as, got three. He he, he's said, he put revered. those three rings on the table like Pat Riley be doing when he's trying to sign somebody and say, "AI, if you want one of these, you just listen to what I say." And the young AI, you can still average twenty five. The, the AI we talking you see, about. You see what Manu did? Manu don't give a, a fuck about none of that. <laughs> My fucking getting his head breaking <laughs> on the beach. He, he at the studio, not even answering the call. <laughs> you see what we did with Manu? Second round pick out of Argentina. He had no business being a Hall of Famer. It, it's, it, One, two, three. It's, it's we Greg, can add number, it's Greg, it's we Greg, can add number it's, four it's with Greg, you, AI. Is Greg Popovich still doing this pitch when AI walk in like this? Pam. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. With a rocket. Greg Popovich don't don't care. And I love Allen Iverson, but I'm just saying what this is what comes with him. All these he things have to be considered when you draft them. Mm-hmm. That's why I would have and never. And I considered how buckets. Have, I would have never, ever, ever disrespected pound for pound a greatest score by asking him to come off the bench. I feel like he bench. would also pull like a mellow at like a press conference. Like, hey, they talking about coming off the bench. And guess what? <laughs> what happened to Mello? He ended up coming off the bench. Came off the bench. Mello is not the first year. Mello is not no motherfucking Allen Iverson. Came off the bench. Mello is not Allen Iverson. Came off the bench. He ain't, he ain't drag he ain't drag I'm just Aaron saying, McKee to the, to the finals. I'm just saying when you when you <laughs> have Name one of the players off that team, uh, Eric Snow, uh, Tyron Lue, and Allen Iverson. Absolutely incorrect. Tyron Lue was absolutely. Not on that he literally stepped over Tyron Lue. Oh, wait. so you're done. No more for you. <laughs> Name me three players off that '76er team. Eric Snow. That, Aaron. N- you you can't use the name. Well, I mean, them, them, those. okay. Eric Snow, I'll give you. Aaron McKee, and then Dikemi Matumbo. You name another uh, Tyrone Hill. Tyrone Hill. There we go. Hey, there you I'm go. proud of That's you. That's my guy. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, Warriors, Whoa. Warriors version. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Two K. I mean, because he, he was just a hustle ass yeah. motherfucker, okay. bro. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Chat. It's up to y'all now. Now nah, I got to pick some holes in his team too. Talk to me, Darren Williams. What's wrong with him? Mm, all oh, is of it just because it's just because I took him over. Chauncey? You took him high, and all of our guards are eating him up. Mike Mike got two guards. His off the bench guards are eating him up. Chauncey Billups. Darren Does he start? Chauncey starting. No, right. Chauncey's on my Chauncey bench. Off his I'm bench. sorry, Darren. Darren. Start, yeah. start. I got D Wade uh, in the backcourt with Darren Wade. You might Darren slide D Wade D- D- to the one. Shit, yeah. I considered it, but no, you didn't. All right, <laughs> no, no, no. That's how he be lying. No, that's how he be lying. That's how he be lying. I was thinking like, could I put D Wade at the one and then go? Why not? And why didn't you? But I just decided I, I like Darren Williams, so I just went with Darren. Who's your second point guard? Uh, Ginobili can do a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> he's not lying. Yeah, he's not. He not, not, back uh, he not. So who's your and who's your who, and, I got, and I got Baron Davis. Okay. So. Who who's your go to guy off the bench? Who's like your uh, six Joe man? Joe Johnson, Rashard Lewis. Okay. I got, those two can both take turns. Who got the best guard core? Mm. Uh, so you got Kobe and Chris Paul. Right and He's Chauncey like, Billups and Chauncey oh. Billups and who's your who's your other Jason guard? Richardson that fucks you that up big time. Fuck you up, <laughs> I get and, and it's not I mean it's not terrible. Yeah, what is your, yeah, what it's what not, but I could add a better Steve choice. Nash, Steve Steve Nash, oh, AI. AI, Rip and Tony Parker. I like that. This starts off strong, it ends very low. I got Jason Kidd, Ray Allen, Gilbert Arenas, Brandon Roy. I got Darren Williams, D Wade. Uh, Baron Davis and then Manu Ginobili. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go with mine. Of course, it's his, ba- it's his balance. <laughs> I guess you could Jason Kidd, Ray Joe, Allen. I guess in that era, Joe Johnson was also a Brandon guy. Roy, Gilbert Arenas. I could even throw Tracy McGrady in there if I want to. Jason Kidd, Tracy McGrady, Brandon Roy, Gilbert Arenas. I'm, yeah, I'm going me. I'm going me. I'm, I'm also going me. I'm, I'm, I'm going me. Are you going you? Of course. Are you going you? I'll go me as well. <laughs> oh, you don't sound confident in right, yours. Exactly. I guess I'll go me. We don't even have to do that. 
Jason Kidd or Tony Parker? I mean, uh, Jason Kidd or Steve Nash? Steve Nash. Who was your other guy? Uh, Al Iverson. I, I, I prefer to differ. I take Jason Kidd. That's just me. Al Iverson. I would take Steve Nash. Uh, Al Iverson or Tracy McGrady? Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. guessing. Now, Tony Parker. Tony Parker. Tony Parker or Gilbert Arenas? Oh, Tony Parker. I would take Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas. You talk about locker room. Gilbert Arenas. <laughs> If any, uh, no, if he, anything he with the Spurs, on, oh yeah, I feel like Tony Parker pants. is the dude you point out with the Spurs. You talk about that's the team around his ass. Um, I feel like some who people could have some shit. Uh, Rip, Brandon Roy or Rip Richard Hamilton? Brandon Roy. Brandon Roy. Longevity though, we balance. You got the, you got the. I got the starters. You got the bench. Yeah. <sighs> Mike's really good though. I like Mike's is really good that you get to number four, but the dude, top three probably carry though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, hell yeah, for sure. I mean, you probably win it strictly off. Kobe. CP and Kobe. I mean, it's not yeah. it's not much better than that in this era. So. Chauncey Billups is very underrated. Chauncey too, Billups is very good, too. very good pick, Mike. Jason right. Richardson. For you to have a third spot, I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, I like your team. Proud of you. Somebody's going to put it in 2K and figure oh, out. Oh, they always do. Make sure you put the right fucking jerseys on, too. And put the right fucking era. Please do oh, not yeah. give me 2013, Tim Duncan, when I have <laughs> a, two, a, a back-to-back MVP here. Thank you yeah. very much. Good draft, fellas. It was a really good draft. Good draft. What's the next draft we do? 1990 to 2000. 1990s oh. to 2000 would be crazy. I'm just, that should be boring. That's what it would be. That's what it would be boring. Motherfuckers going to be picking up. I can't even tell. Who is a random ass 1990s? You know what you know would be a that? very good draft? Who? Everybody get one alphabet letter and you only can draft people with that alphabet. That would that wouldn't oh, be bad. That's a TikTok video. But, uh, <laughs> it's not a first cool podcast. Same thing. 20, 2000 to twenty ten. Only top ten picks or only lottery guys. Because you know some niggas. Is, oh, so some dudes fell out. Like Gilbert Arenas, you wouldn't be able to get Ben Wallace. You know what I mean? Can't like have Ben Wallace. Oh, and you would have no, to you, you you would have to take a pool I'm of you would Oli. have to take a pool of players like who didn't turn out to yeah. be shit. You just by default once we start getting to certain rounds, it's like oh shit, I gotta take Adam Morrison. <laughs> Kirk, I'd rather have an open roster spot. Kirk, Kirk Heinrich Morrison. would be getting picked in there. You know what I mean? Kirk as Heinrich he was a top ten pick. As he should. So as he should. Shout yeah. out to Kirk. One of the top three players from that draft class. Believe it. I was or not. gonna say, so I'm surprised none of y'all had him on that list for a nice backup feature. No, no, Mike. He was on your list? No. No. Oh. I'm a Bulls fan, but I ain't no jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have Derrick Rose? No. Oh. I had Derrick Rose. Mm-hmm. And I had Young Steph. I just figured this is going to be so. <laughs> young so- Steph is crazy. Young Steph. Ball Steph. Not Ball Steph. Low, low fade, oh. no shape up Steph. He was just a shooter. You can always, can never have too much. Glass ankle Steph? No, man. Who would you rather take, Glass ankle Steph or, or Kyle Corver? Classic stuff. That motherfucker not. He gonna give you solid thirty games. And that was Kyle thirty. Corbin, Kyle Corbin gonna shoot forty percent the whole year. The same thing with Steph Curry. For thirty games, I think he, he my twelfth man anyway. Like you said, he only he clapping most of the time. All right, that was he, Kyle he Kyle don't Corbin mess with the stupidest things I heard anyway. And by the way. The, the stuff Wait, we, what you say? He, he not eating up that contract. Kyle Curry gonna be we on. We talk about young Steph listen, Curry. He listen, don't know where he's Steph Curry was underpaid until last year. F- fix this though. Fix this. The Steph Curry you talking about don't exist yet. He ain't got no glass ankle. Play eighty games rookie year. Fuck are you talking about? They correct me. My bad. I stand corrected. You stand corrected by what? You you corrected me. Then you don't stand correct. <laughs> if I, I had to correct you, you don't stand correctly. <laughs> Darren fucking Williams I love that dude man I loved me some Darren Williams He got one of the best crossovers bang, Yes bang. That double bang, crossover bang. Yes And that shit It don't even get low Nobody took them all Crawford high. Six man of the year He's on the list All Crawford is on him He's on the list well, Who did you say again He's like He was right at the top of my list But I took who uh, oh, So and so Matt did, Riley You did that with a player too you No did you did it with a times. player Today I did that with a player. Oh no, no, he didn't. No, it was that he was took George Carl. Eden. No, he oh. took George Carl. It's George Carl. But, but he, he like, did it then too. You all, yeah. What? Why do you make a big board if you be like you have you be having to do as your second guy on a big board, but then you take your eighth guy and be like, damn, I was hoping I was, I was hoping that. I could have got him. <laughs> what was we even doing that day where you took Aiden twenty five oh, under draft? Maybe uh, under. like fuck. I, I wanted to get Luca. I was hoping Luca would be in there the second round, but I took Aiden. 
<laughs> oh, well, I guess the next draft will be 25 and up. No. That way it eliminates all the youngest. Can't get I them. think that could be interesting. I don't want to do that. We're going to get to the point where who, who's a PJ Tucker is actually getting drafted. And shit. No, he's not going to get drafted. Or a 12th be, man? Kevin Durant, Kyrie, LeBron, all them niggas is going to be in there. He ain't going to get drafted, I don't think. In the 11th round, you don't think PJ is going to? If, if you on some. Uh, Mike shit, Kyle I just Corver. need somebody that can stand there. I didn't get locker room dudes in that last 12, man. I mean that may, that's better than what KB did talking about. He gonna have Iverson, two thousands Iverson come Iverson. off the bench. That nigga, you, the minute you sit him down, he gonna do this. <laughs> I want to go to PIT. Let's make a trade. I give you Ray Allen and Iverson. I'm gonna need more than that. Oh shit. I, okay, I'll give you Ray I'll Allen. Jason Richards for him. I know Jason you. Jason Richards will happily come up there. I'll then. give you because <laughs> he got no damn choice. <laughs> I'll give you Ray Allen. Uh huh. And Hito Turkoglu. Absolutely not. I need a rotation player. Hito will be like number 11 on my roster. I give you Ray Allen and Amari Stoudemire. I got too many bigs. I give you Ray Allen and Antoine Jameson. Who's your star shooting guard again? Ray Allen. Oh, who's your starting small Well, I, actually, I don't, have a, I don't have my starting lineup. I didn't put one together. I want to get Phil Jackson. Do oh, so I didn't either. Allen Iverson just exists in the universe. No, no. You said what you said. <laughs> uh, he don't, I don't you have a star lineup. Said. No, you said what Ray you said. Ray Popovich did all that shit, right? When he sat yeah, exactly. down and you he gave told us a whole hey, he You, you give us that? your star lineup. Everybody gave a star five. Oh, okay. for you. I'll, I'll give you my star lineup. Uh, I'm going to go with Jason Kidd. I'm going to need Jason Kidd in this trade. No, can't do it. <laughs> okay. Can't do it. All right, who else? Why would you want him? You got Nash. Just because you don't have him. My star lineup is going to be Jason Kidd. Tracy McGrady, Paige Stoyakovich, Duncan and Gasol. Mm, shit. I like it. I'll take T-Mac off your hands. No. No way. Who's your bench? No way. My, my bench is Ray Allen, Brandon Roy, Amari, Antoine Jameson, Gilbert Arenas, Ron Artest, um, Hedo Turkoglu. Mm. Yeah, it ain't much on that roster. Yeah, we don't need. I thought you dropped the Marbury too. Or did you say that already? No, I didn't oh. drop Marbury. My bad. That was you who think about yeah. that. Yeah, I thought he had took him right after I didn't draft him. My bad. These, <laughs> I don't base my picks off with the. Yeah, fuck. I was gonna say that. No, sound, I thought I heard him. Sound we like did him. have a conversation about it, but he didn't draft him. <laughs> who? We were talking about him in his sneakers. Oh yeah, stuff. he wasn't a thought on my foot. He my Marbury bad. didn't make my list. Yeah. I love I have stuff on Marbury, but for the type of once I knew I was taking Tim Duncan, there was specific type of players that made my <laughs> list. Specific. <laughs> yeah, and Stefan Marbury, I don't think could coexist in a locker room with Tim Duck. It's talking about a guy who bailed on his team and sat in front row at the Madison Square Garden while his team that he was on was playing. We don't need those type of distractions, distractions around. Is that cancerous uh, city, man? Uh, I'm glad we did this, though. <laughs> True. I'm glad we did this, though, because the fans at home don't know, but we are having a fantasy football draft with just yes. us. Just us. I, I don't know. A lot of times we announce we're doing something, the fans automatically Get think it. that they're going to be in it. We just sometimes we, we are just missing like to, one person. We just like but to do stuff. But it won't be a fan. Yeah, it you can't know football be. football hour? Nobody here does, though. Yeah, it can't. Fantasy football? You played fantasy football before? I thought we played it together. No, I've never played yeah. fantasy football. I, I, I have I've more experience played. playing fantasy football than I do fantasy basketball. I started oh, playing played fantasy, fantasy now, basketball shit. with y'all. Mm. But as a kid, I used to always play fantasy football and just join random leagues. Am I good at it? No. Mm. no. I've, yeah, I think most no. of us have no experience. No, no, no. I have no experience no. with this. But yeah, I know. You know, you're going to have to have a flex, which could be a receiver running. It's, you know, you pick a team defense. I'm legit prepping for it, though. Yeah. I'm not just coming in like, ah, no, I want to win. You're not drafting. I'm getting I motherfuckers that I know and I know they ball. So we're good. He's fucking, he's going to yeah. fucking suck. You're not, because you're not, <laughs> he's going to suck. It's not like the NBA is You're well. not going to look at the points. You're not going to look at the fucking like, points wise. You though. know this guy. So would you draft? You know. Would you draft Micah Parsons or? Don't or, we just draft defenses though, my nigga? Yeah. Just making sure you know. Yeah, it's just you draft the defense. Five or ten defense. I set you up. Yeah, she's looking at the camera. Point. I, I got y'all because you would have got D Mills. And, and I'm happy that we're doing it together, so he don't have his chat to tell him. Who yeah, to so draft. that was that was the point I wanted to tell them. We, I'm gonna just do it on my phone. We doing a <laughs> we doing a real draft where we all going to KBs. And we all have to be in front of each other. So that, you know why that also helps? Mm. It's Kyron. You're not taking 30 That's minutes. That's why I was about to say, is Kyron going to be there? Because I'm not doing he, that he shit with him, He said he's bro. down, so hopefully yeah, we he gonna, come Yeah, we going to confirm. He's a motherfucker that take a minute 30, whatever the limit is, every time, And we get bro. to see niggas in action. See niggas trying to do their Googles, trying to make decisions. I could tell D-Mills, yeah, boy, go on, fuck with him. You know you want Jared Goff. You know you want Jared Goff. <laughs> Second Goff. round. <laughs> But no, I'm 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 excited. I can't wait for that. I'm I'm super excited. Um, I've been in football fever too. 
football for you. Same. I've been on Madden heavy. I ain't played online. Hey, but like, my franchise? homies was talking about that when we went out. Like, damn. Because Flex was like, I used to know everybody. Now I feel like I, I was like, bro, if you buy Madden, you get quickly into the loop. Mm-hmm. You get quickly into the loop. Facts. Who's your favorite football player? Oh, fuck. I don't have one. You got a favorite football player? Don't Maybe say Jalen Ramsey. Say, yeah, that's a bad Maybe motherfucker. That's I, a bad I, I motherfucker. Like, I like corners. I like D-backs. I'm not even going to say what to not say because I think I got somebody in mind that you would say. I know who he's going to say. Who? Don't, I'm not saying. We're I'm not going to say We're not going to say it. I was probably going to say either um, Khalil Mack. Yep. Yes. Or either. <laughs> fuck. I don't know. You have a favorite old lineman? No. <laughs> oh, I just thought because that was I'm, a position I'm, play. That's the only reason I asked. I didn't want to play online. They made me play online. I wanted to play D line. Why didn't did they let you try out? No, they said that we don't want to mess up our core group of guys. They did have a pretty yes. dominant reason, D line. Reason, reasonable response yeah, for so. sure. I wouldn't put your ass on there either. They had some guys over there. Yes. You know, I went there recently because uh, Suzanne's brother is playing freshman year. They had him as an O lineman for like the first three weeks of camp. And then he asked, can he play defense? And they put him on the DN. He played one snap and said, they said, you're the starting uh, end on our team. And then I, I went there. They did a scrimmage. The first two plays, he was in that backfield and uh, made a tackle. I was like, damn. Yeah, because freshman year, I started at D-line. I started on defensive end. Mm. That's how Aiden Hutchinson And then you is. stopped playing, though, right? So you kind of got you know lost in the system? Yeah. Defense, defensive end is very fun. I, I love can see. He played for the Lions, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Switching from DN to O-line is so hard. It's so different. Mm-hmm. I was watching a guy. It's a guy at... Georgia, I think his name was like Jalen Carter. I watched this man highlights. So he's a D tackle or a DN. I think it's a tackle, bro. I haven't seen a highlight tape that fun. This <laughs> nigga's sacking quarterback. He's playing limited time too because he was an underclassman. Sacking quarterback. He blocked a fucking punt. He caught a touchdown. He blocked for a touchdown. Like I'm like, what the fuck? This thing is crazy. You mm-hmm. gonna be projected to be one of the top ten picks. Mm-hmm. He was playing D line, O line, called a touchdown, blocked, blocked the fucking punt. I like this nigga's exciting. What do y'all think about keeper leagues? What's like that? you keep your picks the next season and you keep, like, you get to it's like an expansion draft. Like every nah. season you pick, I like, you keep nah, like four I like the players. randomness. Of I like every to make year. a new team. Every I think year. so too. Yeah, you get tired of the same quarterback. I couldn't imagine doing that for like basketball. That's why I was thinking about our perspective. Like, I mean, if you draft fucking I mean, Luca in his rookie yeah. season, and now he that dude fantasy wise, or well, like you got Giannis and you get to have Giannis every season. That's the best but part. I think, I think in keeper leagues and like the big big keeper leagues, you can only keep a player for a certain amount of time. Oh. So Giannis would eventually go into the pool because he's fucking Giannis, and it's mm-hmm. kind of you probably. In the championship contention, strictly off that. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, I like switching it up every year. It's, it in a, it gets you just in, in in a different form with a different player. Like if this year I have to take Kyler Murray as my port- quarterback, I'm gonna be very in tune with Kyler Murray. Right. So you might now know nah, some yeah, shit about nice. him, and then the next year you might have fucking What's I don't know Zach Wilson. In a couple of weeks, you know, you ask the same question: Who's your favorite player? I'm gonna have somebody because it's right, probably gonna be somebody on my yes, team because exactly. I'm actually watching. Exactly. Oh, you say you didn't have one. I don't. Oh, have no, you said you said oh, Jalen Ramsey, Ramsey, but that's Ramsey. that's yeah. like just because I yeah I like I like, I like his interviews. Bruce. See that makes sense. Well, you don't have no hands, but that makes sense. The younger I was, I used to be fascinated with receivers. Randy Terrell Owens. I used to love receivers. The older I get, the more I like. I still like receivers. Um, but I feel like the receiver conversation ain't what it's like it, it, what it used to be. Like Jamar Chase is just a guy. But back then, you used to really be like, man. If Dio? Jamar Chase is available at number three, you taking him? <clears throat> no, interesting. But uh, no, you know what's funny? When I was a kid, I used to have a Chris Carter jersey. You didn't even know who he was. No, but I just had one. Yep. Randy, but I think I no 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 no. I think as a kid though, because I had like a lot of those street volume games, or, you know the NFL. Street, I think he was on one of them games though. Uh, I remember him. Fucking crazy man. Uh, Randy Moss. Uh, Randy Moss was on there. I remember Randy Moss. I kick Chris. Sterling Collins. Sharp was one of my favorite players from back, like that type of NFL street. Because I used to play Williams. On Sterling NFL Sharp. Street. Shannon Sharp brother. Yeah, yeah. The receiver. Yeah. Tight end. Tight end. His brother was a receiver though. I thought he was a tight end. Shannon was a tight end. No, I know, but I thought yeah. his brother was a tight end too. No, I think he was receiving. Didn't he have a, a career ending injury? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's fucked up. Mm. What happened to him? I, f- I, I forgot. I think it was someone his back. I could be oh, very wrong. Back injuries are done. I could you're, be very wrong. Though. You looking injuries. it up? Uh, I, I can't. Know, didn't they have an, um, Knox. Johnny Knox? Yeah, Johnny Knox yeah, got, got folded like a fucking But nah, chair. That's why I be liking him every time uh, Shannon Brown be like, I'm I'm the second best sharp. Right, yeah. Because he, he be trying to put on for his brother. That's what's up. Um, 
I like defense now, though. I love corners. I always love safeties because Sean Taylor, rest in peace. But I love corners now. It's so remarkable. Just that's why I was saying with Jalen Ramsey, like that's a good pick. It's so remarkable for you to cover a nigga and say you not finna do shit. I'm finna be your shadow, and you not finna do shit on me. And that's what Jalen Ramsey be. It on. was a neck injury, so mm. which is you know the fucking football. That's crazy. So, Ooh, yeah, that yeah. I, and, and anything, and and a anything. neck injury in general is like one of the last places I want to be in. Who your favorite quarterback? Um, all time or just right now? Right now. Um, it's got to be Justin Herbert. I told my chat, bro, because the football season's coming up, and we about to start doing the draft. I was like, I need a team because I always be flip flopping like what teams? Because I don't, I'm I'm a I'm a really casual NFL fan. Yeah. So I was like, let me just pick a team, and it came down to it. I'm a Chargers fan. You're Chargers. So right. Justin Herbert is my guy. For I'm a Cowboys fan. Y'all Bears fans? Um, yeah. I don't, I don't by, by association, yes. I have not followed the Bears in like two seasons, but. I, 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 would, I plan on getting. Bro, I swear you have a tweet every year like this is just. You tweeted something about Justin Fields, didn't you? Last oh, year. Oh yeah, because he was he's gonna be running for his life. Our old line sucks, so I said it's just no fun. It's not gonna be fun watching him develop because he's gonna be running. Oh for his no, life. that was yeah, that was that was a couple years ago because he was always used to say like Mitch Trubisky finna do like oh, MVP yeah. or some shit. I, was, like, some I, crazy ain't, shit. I ain't never seen that like that, but I had hopes for Trubisky. I think Mitch Trubisky still has potential. I just I just hate Where's it. Where's he at? Oh, he's in uh, uh, Pittsburgh. 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 Yeah. Pittsburgh, yeah. I like um I'm hoping Trey Lance. I like I love Justin Herbert too. That's 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 that guy. I love gunslingers. Tony Romo was my guy growing up. That's why I'm a cowboy fan. But I I'm hoping Trey Lance. I like dual quarterbacks too. Uh hit you with their arm and their feet. Yeah, that's why I, I like Russell Wilson. He yeah, Russell Wilson. And he he can dot you up, he can dot motherfuckers up too. Yeah, he one of them guys for sure. We appreciate y'all watching or listening to this episode of Through the Wire podcast. This Saturday, we have top 10 shooting guards in basketball from Through the Wire. Um, it's and something it about Aaron Rodgers, though. That's just oh, a yeah. bad motherfucker. Yeah, he is. I, I like that I enjoy watching him as a Bears fan. Like, I feel like I shouldn't, but I, I, I'm not going to allow that to happen. He's, he's like a, a surgeon, like something like how Chris Paul do shit. He do it on the football field. But yeah, see y'all Saturday. Peace. Except he got a ring.